Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 9th, 2022. If you're watching this before Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day, especially to my mom, Nancy. Mom, I love you so much. Thank you for being the best mom ever. If you're watching this after Mother's Day, happy belated Mother's Day. Now I have, you guys won't believe this. <laughs> I have so many things to talk about. We have a really insane message for this week. It's about clarity and protection. Please make sure that you share this video. And for all the things I'm about to announce here, please make sure that you are subscribed. That way I can keep you posted with updates. I had to adjust my lamp there. <laughs> so first and foremost, I am still staying on top of personal readings and I'm running a few days ahead of schedule. So if you want to get yours, go to angelsouls444.com. We can do the really fun Akashic Records reading or we can do an angelic message reading, which those are fun too. You know, we could do those. So get on over there and check that out over at my website. Also, don't forget that I do have courses over at Gumroad. And I have extra readings over at Patreon. For just a dollar a month, you get to access those. So all those links are in the description box below. I am going to be having a whole Archangel series coming out on Bright. Again, please make sure you're subscribed. I will keep you posted on that. But Bright has invited me to be a part of their Seize the Summer campaign. And so I, along with other creators, we're going to be doing all this really fantastic content. My session is going to be all about raising your frequency, being in alignment, and setting your intentions with the Archangels. It's going to be taking place on June 6th, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Seats are limited. I have to stress that, okay, for this. So make sure that you get your tickets. If you are interested, that link is down below as well. And finally, I am trying out Substack. So I am basically taking that book that I've been working on you guys, if you saw my hard drives, I have numerous books that I have written, short stories I've written, and then I've always been really shy about putting it out there. So this is a huge move for me. I'm scared to death <laughs> to put my work out there, but I'm going to try it. So I'm gonna be taking the metaphysical fiction, speculative fiction novel that I've been working on, and I'm gonna go through and you know just do one more go through as far as I can self edit. It's not the same as having three different editors look at your work. So it's going to be unedited. Be aware of that. Be kind. Okay. And I'm going to put up maybe a chapter a month or something along those lines. We'll see how it goes. And I'm also going to have a new uh, newsletter over there as well. I'm still experimenting with Substack, but once I get that up, I'm aiming for May 7th as a release date. I will put that link in this description box. Please get over there and check it out. I hope you enjoy it. And I mean, I'm gonna be pulling out every piece of work I've ever worked on and you know, putting little sample chapters up here and there, okay? And of course I can write a book on angels. I can write a book on spiritual practice. You know, I'm really excited to see how far that can go. Okay, so if you made it through the announcements, thank you so much for listening. If you skipped ahead, we know something you don't know. Okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding. So anyway, this week we have a huge Archangel Michael presence. And what the way I wanna start this reading off, again, please make sure you share this with people so that they know, you know, fun readings, entertaining readings, they could be really relaxing. Again, they can be a joy to listen to, but those aren't the only kinds of readings that exist. There are astrologers out there that are, you know, doing hard hitting topics. I'm an angelic medium and an angel reader. So I do hard hitting soul growth or, you know, personal growth, however you want to see that types of readings. And these don't tend to get the same kind of attention and that's okay. I mean, I'm not looking to be popular, but there's a big message there and it needs to be heard. And if it's not, and we're only staying on the surface again, which doesn't have to be a bad thing but we're not gonna be growing in the way that we need to. And there's a reason why I'm saying that, especially for this week. There, there are going to be more changes coming, okay? <laughs> You're like, Michelle, that's not profound, we know. Well, here's the deal, because there is a jumble of things going on. So it feels like there could be some things cracking open 
for us as individuals, okay? So some people could get some very surprising news. Uh, already in my family, we've had some very surprising news. Congratulations, by the way. And, you know, they're, they're just things that are like, you know, good news maybe, or just um, something comes up and it challenges how you think. Now, if you're not in a strong position, this is why I say, you know, doing the deep spiritual work is important. Again, I'm not trying to diminish, you know, other people's readings or anything like that, because those can break you open too. And they can be very, very helpful. But uh, these types, this is what's going to get your foundation solid, okay? Because there, there are shocks to come, <laughs> shocks. So again, this could be for you as an individual. It will be for you as an individual. There could be things that really challenge you. There are things that come up that maybe look really bad on the surface. I Again, I just have one of these things. Looks really bad on the surface. But if you really tune into your heart and you listen to the truth, that's coming through and you admit, you know, you know, all the places maybe where you've made excuses for yourself. Again, I'm doing it too, <laughs> right? That's why I'm kind of like smiling like, no, this is so me. <laughs> but if you, if you guys are in that space, you know, and you're really honest with yourself, you know what? I brought this, this, and this to the table. You know what? I'm still in love with that person. I don't want to admit that I am, but I am. You know what? I'm tired of whatever. I'm tired of my career. I'm tired of, you know, I always define myself as this and now I'm realizing I don't want to do that anymore. That is a sign of growth in some cases. Okay. Now some people obviously are just giving up. Right? So there's that too. But this is about really taking some time, especially in the coming week and in the coming months, taking some time with ourselves and seeing what truth comes up. Archangel Michael is all about clarity. And that's not clarity about, does he love me or not love me? You know, am I going to get that promotion or not get that promotion? You know, <laughs> again, that can be fun to think about, but you've got this other layer that you need to focus on as well. Okay. So if you, let's say love, if you're really just hung up on a love partnership and, and you're saying, well, I have to admit, I, I, I'm still in love with that person. Ask yourself what's going on there. You know, it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing that you're still in love with someone, but what do you get from it? Well, that person made me feel seen. They made me feel understood. I thought there was a connection there and it was shocking when it wasn't or whatever the case may be. You know, you might be looking at that and seeing if you're still grieving over the loss of that connection or if, you know, they made you feel special. Maybe you don't feel special on your own, okay? Or you might have an unexpected expense. Please hear me when I say the economy it's not good. It's not. That'll be for the rest of the year and probably going into next year, maybe a little bit too. It's not great. Okay. Things are out of control and that's not to scare you because there's something good that can come out of that. You know, we've been talking in, on this channel for quite some time. Housing costs are going crazy. Gas prices, they're not going crazy where I'm at, unless I just haven't been looking in the right places. I don't know. They kind of went up a little bit, but it was okay. But they did, you know, hike up our rent $300 a month, which was a little like, <gasps> but what ended up happening was I got real. And I said, you know what? I'm pretty, pretty lucky. I have a phenomenal view. I mean, my apartment's small, but it's an upper corner unit and I have vaulted ceilings and this pretty little fireplace behind me. I mean, in, in a great area and you know, it's, it's beautiful here. And I've been quite lucky in the past with my housing. Uh, <laughs> well, except for those bad neighbors. We're not going there. You guys, come on. That's an inside joke now. Now I can't let that go. Every time it comes up, I have to say it. But you know, what that did was it kind of woke me up. And instead of playing the victim and going, oh my gosh, I'm going into this energy of how unfair and all that. I thought, I've, I've had my luck where, you know, for a few years, I was probably living here under market value. And what's more, it made me wake up and go, okay, I need to live simply. I need to, and it's not like, I'm not deprived of anything. I wanna make this clear, there's a reason why I'm giving this example. I'm not deprived of anything. I'm just noticing where there's excess, where there has been sort of like finances just kind of leaking out that don't need to be there. There are things that I have for my YouTube channel that I don't really 
use anymore or whatever I may not be using in the future. So why is it there? It's that sort of thing. Okay. Again, I'm le leaving this example here, apply it as, as you will. Right. So whatever comes up, it's teaching you something, obviously, um, but don't panic, <laughs> okay? It could be something that kind of comes up and it's like, oh, I, I did not see that coming or oh, that's heartbreaking or whatever, but it's necessary. And again, that's why Michael is coming up here. I've got the Archangel Michael deck here. When we get clarity on our own personal situations, when we understand the universe isn't out to get us, <laughs> right? There are just things that are not working. There, there are directions that we're going in and we're numb to the effects of it. And something's being put in our, in our way for us to wake up and start realizing something to work around it. Okay. Uh, sorry, that was very long winded. Uh, <laughs> so there's that. And then there's the world. the shakeups that I feel coming. And, you know, Michael is coming forward and saying, get prepared. Don't be looking out there and going, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out over things that are completely out of my control. Oh my gosh, I knew that I was the victim this way, that way, and the other way. We don't have time for that. We don't have room for that, okay? We can't be doing that. That's why I gave all those examples about the personal stuff because we need to have a strong foundation so that when, you know, example with the economy, the housing market, when it starts going crazy, you don't go into panic mode, okay? You find a way, you figure it out. Now, some of you might say, well, that's not so easy if you're a single mom with three kids or a single father with three kids or whatever, understood. But still, there's something there that maybe you needed to get away from where you are, okay? There's something that it's teaching you. So if we get strong within us, when we see things, we don't have a panic moment. We have more of a focus on a resolution kind of moment, and that is please, <laughs> please take that in. Please take that in. So when something rattles us, so there's some sort of, if you notice, like when there was some news, okay, and people start losing their minds and they're out in the streets and they're screaming and hollering and they're saying, I have a right to act like this and blah, 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 blah. Or people are fighting family members or friends are no longer friends because you don't believe the way I do. And we do have major things on the table. We're seeing it already. Things that were unimaginable starting to come up our society has been in the process of breaking down for quite some time and now we're seeing the major major cracks before it was just you know kind of chipping away now it's falling apart now the reason why that's happening is so that we can learn the process we can start to see what was hidden but it's not for us to get dramatic about you know me, I say, you know, don't, don't diminish how you feel, but be honest about how you feel. A lot of us get kind of uh, loud <laughs> or, or again, dramatic because in this society, you know, our voices can be drowned out. We can, you know, maybe not be taken seriously. Uh, it could feel like we're, you know, turning, turning back in time or something like that. But we have to be strong and we have to... I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm making this message land. It's a sort of thing here of stop lying to yourself. We need to stop lying to ourselves. And we also need to stop making everything a show. So when there's something serious going on, instead of us all coming together and trying to find a peaceful solution, everyone's making a show of it, right? Um, acting like they're in their own personal movie. I'm going to go down. My legacy is going to be like X, Y, and Z. People are always going to remember what I did. We are no better for it. If that worked, we'd be great now. It's not so hot out there, okay? <laughs> so just be, we're, we're learning to be resourceful and we're learning to come together because all of these situations are going to be such that, you know, there's no room for an argument. 
there's no room for hatred. There's, there never has been, but we're waking up and realizing it even more now. Now, the other thing that I've always spoken about would be the false spirituality or people who are spiritually sidestepping or this pretentiousness around spirituality. Uh, some of you, if you do choose to go over to Substack and start reading, I don't know how many pages I'm going to put up. Again, I could really use your support on that just to be like, Michelle, don't be afraid. That's a weak part of me, <laughs> right? I have lots of weak parts, but that's one of them. I'm always so scared to show my writing to anybody because that's my heart and soul. And, um, and it hasn't been seen by editors. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I didn't have a buffer there of somebody being like, hey, Michelle, this is really stupid. You should probably fix this before anybody sees it. Um, I don't have that, okay? So, <laughs> so if you do and go and read it, um, the, the opening chapter of it thus far is about expressing and, and doing a scene around what, what I see happening in society. So it's about pain. And it's about things being out of our control. And it's about loss. So I, what I, the reason why I was saying that was because people might come back and be like, that's not for me. It's too dark. We need to start waking up to people who are painting a, a picture for us. They're trying to show how spiritual they are because they can't look at this stuff. Let's not. It, there's no time for fake. There's just no time for fake. There's no time for nonsense. I feel like I have preached at your face again. I do apologize. Go ahead, tell your friends she preaches at your face. <laughs> right? Oh, weird. Right about your thoughts and feelings. And these all have prayers. I'm not a big fan of praying to the angels. The way it's come through me is that we're not to pray to them. But I think Catholics, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, do you pray to angels? I Again, comment down below. All right, so this says, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. That's really weird. I was just talking about <laughs> the book, and this says, uh, write about your thoughts and feelings. So this is about, yes, you could take this quite literally. Work on that creative project. Um, have some sort of, some form of expression, art therapy, anything that helps you get through because there are going to be, um, you know, some people who are not, who haven't healed all their traumas and things like that. They're going to have a very specific psychological or mood reaction. Okay. You know where I'm going. Comment, say it with me now. This is not a replacement for therapy. <laughs> Please get with a therapist. I am not a therapist. This is just a spiritual channel, okay? So make sure that you are treating your mental body along with your spiritual body. You know, go to a doctor for your physical body, all of that, okay? Good, take care of you. <laughs> so there is that. So you can, you know, write your feelings down, but the bigger message here is about communication. Be honest. <laughs> I was doing just fine before I started saying it and literally choked on the word honest. Now, some of you are going to be real nasty and be like, see, Michelle, that's because you're a fraud and you're... Or have sinus problems, okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I think that's interesting that I kind of, like, literally my throat caught. Like, we're not honest with ourselves. We tell ourselves a story or we say it was this person's fault or, you know, all of that. And we don't take accountability, right? So there you go. So we'll see if I leave that in. <laughs> How bad was the <clears throat> moment? <laughs> But anyway, so when we're communicating with one another, we have to be honest. We have to be honest about our place in it. And that goes to people too, who are always taking the blame for things that are not your fault. Okay. That means as much for you as anybody else. Make a commitment. Okay. It says Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. To every experience. Again, I think a lot of us get into this place of, I need to be defined as dot, dot, dot. I had, there for a while, I had a lot of women coming to me who were trying to have children. And children are amazing. I've never had any of my own, but I have lots of children in my life who I love like they are my own. And a lot of times I would tune into 
the energy of somebody who's trying to have a child and it's not happening and you can feel that either it's not on their soul's contract or they really don't want to have kids they're just having kids because they think that's what they're supposed to do that's not a good enough reason to start a family redefine what family is to you right and again i think this goes into that message of don't expect to be happy when dot 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 right you've heard this a million times we need to make a commitment to ourselves to this moment to not put pressure on ourselves you know i was given the example of having a child if having a child feels right for you right now do it if it doesn't feel right right now but maybe down the road that's great but you're getting pressure i want grandbabies you know that whole thing you know you commit to you and to what's right for you someone out there needed to hear that okay so again michael's coming in to help us live our purpose and to fulfill our divine mission <laughs> sounds so dramatic but uh archangel shamuel can help us with that as well shamuel can teach us self-love uh to show us where we need some care archangel Raphael, archangel gabriel i mean you can work with all these archangels to give you the time that you need perfect example i have been fighting a sinus infection uh and i just came back on a plane so that didn't help and i've been tired <laughs> i've been feeling a little run down i had a very busy day today and I got a lot of stuff done. And I was like, you know, I just, I need a nap. <laughs> now, the mental part of me was like, are you joking? There's no time for a nap. There are too many things to be done. And I said, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> and I did. And now I feel like a whole new person. So, you know, take a moment when your body is telling you, your mind maybe, if you're getting, you know, on overload and you need to take a moment for yourself, do it. Lots of self-care. Commit to you and commit to the beauty of this moment. Your life is happening right now, not when you get your to-do list done. Okay. All right. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. And there's a book on this card. Okay. Uh, we have, <laughs> please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way. Bing, bing, that one, okay? Out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. Again, you know, Michael's coming through and saying, cut out the ego stuff because there's a lot happening and we need everybody to be a clear vessel for understanding, okay? There is, I would call it a spiritual disease going around and... And it hits in a psychological way too. It's the thing I talk about all the time. I have to be careful about saying it because the people who uh, have given into that kind of dark energy and express in that way, all it does is fuel them. And so they start mimicking, you know, people more and more. And so many of us fall for it. I have fallen for it my entire life, <laughs> right? Not anymore. All right, so it says you're on the right path. So we're on we have to clear that out we have to look for where people are just uh weaving a narrative to just sort of brainwash everyone to sort of and it's not i mean yeah there could be big organizations doing that but it's individuals too all right so we have to be aware of that archangel michael i call upon you now thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that i easily understand thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make helpful life changes which could look like anything okay this could be treating your body better this could be you know saying no to family members or friends who are toxic who and i'm not talking like oh you don't do as i say therefore you're toxic see how that gets messy and that's why a lot of us get shut down when we start talking about cluster b personality disorders not a psychiatrist check with a doctor okay or check with a, a, a therapist i am not a therapist but there's a lot of that <laughs> going on in this world why because there's a lot of abuse i can't say it a million more times we're not good to our children that's where it starts well in some cases i guess there are some things that you can be born with but we need to wake up to this right that's one two need to be taking accountability for 
what we're still hanging on to. And it doesn't have to be bad, right? I mean, it could be this beautiful moment of self-discovery. Why am I so worried about having that particular job? What really would I be getting out of it? Prestige? Prestige is cheap in a world where, <laughs> first of all, there's so many other things, more important things going on. And we realize that prestige doesn't usually have true merit behind it. It usually has money behind it. So boom, we're all waking up to that now too, aren't we? So yeah, let me get some cards out of this other deck here. All right. But be working with Archangel Michael and Archangel Shamuel. Again, you can work with any Archangel that you would like, but major, major things coming up. So we have to, I mean, these are things that if, if we're not in a good place, this could be that kind of thing where we just start to feel unsafe or people go, oh, come on. We just went through blah, 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 blah. And now we have this. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? You can sit there and, and not to diminish anybody who's really in a low place over it. I'm not. Please make sure that you are so loved. You are so loved. You are supported. Please make sure you have someone there with you. Okay. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who just want to like go, oh, I can't keep up with all the food trends. Oh, now fruit is bad for you. Ugh. Dude, <laughs> life is, is churning and moving. Okay. Like there are going to be new things coming out. And yes, there will always be things that we have to work around. If we did not learn our lesson from 2020, 2021, coming into 2022 about how to survive, how to be resourceful, how to, at least we failed the test as far as being there for one another, 100%. That I just wagged my finger. I'm sorry. <laughs> but that is something that's going to be coming back around. That was something that we as a humanity, we were supposed to be learning this and understanding this. And we failed. So you can, it's a safe bet that that's going to come back around. Not that particular example, maybe not. But something where we're supposed to be there for one another. Here we go. Seven of Gabriel, stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence, claim your personal power. There's so much conflict. There's just so much conflict. And we have to, when we're standing up for ourselves, it has to be from a strong and loving place and not from a, I, I just need to feel on top, right? I just need, because I'm so insecure that if I seem wrong, then, you know, that's, that's the end of the world for me. The other card we have here out of this deck, two of Gabriel. So make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. Here, here's what we're talking about here. We need to come together and we're going to continue to experience really unpleasant things until we figure out how to be more cooperative and loving with one another. Okay, so let's get a color card here because people tend to like this deck. <laughs> so let's see what we have here. We have, ooh. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know what this card hardly ever comes out. I use this deck every week. This hardly ever comes out. But when it does, something happens. Okay? There was a time, I believe it was the Paris, I gotta be careful, but there was an incident in Paris. So this is black, find the richness from the dark of night. Uh, 28. I mean, there's already stuff going on. Horrible things, right? What this card represents is that if we go into this dragging our feet and going, I already went through something. I can't do anymore. These things will keep happening there, there we have to understand our energetic field we have to that's why i'm doing that session on bright about raising our frequencies being in alignment and you know setting our intentions from a space to understand what we really want not from what we're told we should want yes and that whole session is going to be about working with our energy field and being careful about what we put out there so if we're terrified of the next thing that could happen 
and we're in such a deep self-preservation mode that it's us against the world, more darkness will manifest. The fears, those shadows come together and they become monsters. What do we want? Okay, now, this does have the silhouette, silhouette of a tree here, but also has a light behind it. That is where the focus needs to go. Not in this spiritual side stepping way of, I'm just positive all the time. When someone says that, oof, I'm about to get offensive. You ready? If I had employees <laughs> and I walked in and someone had a sign that said, good vibes only, they're fired, okay? You fake, you fired, okay? No, no, good vibes only. What, no one's allowed to have an emotion around you? No one's ever allowed to have a bad day. You're going to pretend like you never have a bad day. Right. I don't, I, you know me. I, I kind of go against the grain in this community. <laughs> so I don't like stuff like that. Now, if you're sitting there and you're wearing a good vibes only t-shirt and you're wearing it with good intention, I'm sorry. That wasn't aimed at you. Okay. I hope we can be friends. It wasn't at you. Okay. It's at these people that are trying to be conniving. Okay. Or we're going to see that if you're talking... If you want to talk about sin, if you believe in sin, right? That whole thing, if you believe in sin. Uh, <laughs> that That's that kind of thing of um, it's a sin to lie and say, oh, I care, I care, but then you're stabbing someone in the back, right? Or you can see it as karma or whatever. I'm feeling like there's a, there's a time here now where that's going to have a higher price than maybe it had before. Dishonesty for conniving intentions. Um, and it's going to be at us, right? So this will be the kind of thing, and then I'll leave you guys alone, <laughs> but where, where someone is like, okay, here's the love of my life in front of me, but I'm so focused on whatever, okay, that, or I don't believe, I wasn't telling myself the truth that I feel too insecure. I don't feel like I'm worthy of that love. If I never admit that truth to myself and I try to convince myself I'm too busy for love, then I walk away and go, oh, love never comes to me. That would be that person paying the price. The blessing was right in front of them. There's somebody who could love them, you know, loves them and understands them on a very deep level, but they couldn't believe it. It was too good to be true or whatever, you know, whatever narrative they're telling themselves. So that's that kind of thing. If we're not honest with ourselves or others, that's where this is going to lead us. It's going to make us miss opportunities. It's going to keep manifesting the, the shadow collective. And, you know, you guys really need to read my book. <laughs> it's going to be all about that stuff. So anyway, we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.